diagnosis of obstruction. Pag walang upright film, uh, you're, you could only go as far as ileus. Okay? Generalized ileus. But you can never say uh, is a uh, small bowel obstruction. But for us, younger generation uh, radiologists, we would say generalized ileus cannot totally rule out beginning intestinal obstruction. Kung wala pa yung upright fin niya. So, uh, the radiologist is just plain uh, safe. Hindi pa rin kami nakukumit. So, ang sasabihin namin, generalized ileus, and then cannot totally rule out beginning intestinal obstruction. So, once you do it with upright film at nakita mo na may mga step ladder, ito yung sinasabi ko na step ladder, parang hagdan, umaakyat, there, there, tapos, umaakyat siya. They, they are not of the same level. That's what we call the step ladder sign in obstruction. You can see the step ladder sign in any form of intestinal obstruction, be it small or large bowel obstruction. Okay? The more prominent air fluid level, this is the typical step ladder sign. Para yung step ng stairs, from there you would step higher and then there should be another line there, another line, you would go higher. Kaya ito yung katawag namin na step ladder sign. So this one is an upright thing. Because you don't see this air fluid level in supine film. Okay? For you to demonstrate the air fluid level, the patient should be in upright position. Okay? Dr. Tama, it should always be upright. There you are. The palpula monibientes. It's very prominent. So that is the coil spring sign. Who among you played this a toy? It comes with different colors. Okay? So, yun yung siya sabi natin na coil spring sign. There. Mas kita dito, di ba? So, remember this, you have two signs, the step ladder sign and the coil spring sign. Six and more of the signs. Okay? Ang aralin nyo, more of the signs. And then, syempre, yung mga laboratory findings. Kasi, by the way, problem-based na rin kayo mula first year, di ba? Yung mga exams nyo. Ah, so hindi lahat problem-based. Bakit? Dapat problem-based na lahat. Kasi in the metropolis, ang radio would start first year. Kasi problem-based na sila eh. Lalo na pagdating ng uh, second year, maybe... Kasi kami nung second year kami, physical diagnosis lang kami. Yung maliit na libro. Pero ngayon, meron silang pinatawag sa may clinical diagnosis na sila. So, we would correlate yung mga radiographic uh, findings together with their uh, laboratory findings at saka yung PE nila, history nila. Talagang problem. So, ang radiology will start first year, second year, third year. So that is the typical coil spring sign. 
Okay? That would be uh, seen in small bubble obstruction. Okay? So, this one. Ito, pwede mong sasabihin na sentinel loop ito. It's an inverted uh, U-shape. But again, as I've said, this is not pancreatitis. Okay? This one, you would see the spring, coil spring sign. You would observe the coil spring sign. So this is your large bowel obstruction. So there would be little or no gas in your small bowel if your ileocecal bulb remains competent. Okay? Diba? Dun sa mga previous uh, films natin, sinabi natin kanina, normally, gas could be seen, large amount of gas could be seen in your large bowel. Okay? So, this is your large bowel. So, this time, the diameter is bigger. It's 5 cm. So, in cases of obstruction, usually, it goes beyond 8 cm. So, again, you would see, para siyang mega colon. Malaki. And then, that is the house trap. Can you appreciate it? The difference of your large and your small bowel? This one is your, we're talking here of your large intestine, mainly because if you would uh, try to measure the diameter the of your shadow, this is more than 5 cm. And normally your small intestine is only 3 cm, right? There you are. Lumaki siya. So kahit central yung minakita ka, but you're going to measure the size of the diameter. That would be your reference. Okay, that would be your guide. Okay, as I've said, the normal measurement would be more than 5 centimeters, but in obstruction, it goes beyond more than 8 centimeters. So, in here, in point of comparison, location. Large bowel, peripheral, small bowel, central, and then the diameter more than 5. This one is more than 8 in cases of obstruction. Kasi normal lang natin dito 5, dito 3. Okay? Again, the difference of your large and small bubble, eyeballing, by just merely looking at it, you would say that this one, the diameter is bigger as you compare with the diameter of this dust-filled shadow here. Okay? So, this is your small bubble obstruction. This is your large bowel obstruction. So your basis would be your location and the diameter of the involved uh, segment of your bowel. Okay? Again, always remember the coil spring sign, the step ladder sign, and then the different signs of your acute pancreatitis. We have your sentinel loop, the column cutoff sign, and the plural diffusion, most likely on the left. This one is an example of your special procedure. What special procedure is this? 
This is an example of your barrio enema. And this is the typical picture of your it's CA of the column, the apple core sign. Both sides eaten, so that's the apple core. Okay? This is pantognomonic to colonic CA. But nowadays, we seldom see this. Why? We seldom see this in cases of uh, uh, colonic CA. The reason behind is that seldom uh, do clinician would request the volume minima. They would go for CT scan. Why? Must may advantage on CT scan. Okay? The value minimum would cost probably how much kuya? Mga less than 5,000? Maguna. Whereas the CT scan would probably uh, nasa 10,000 siya pagka pull up to men with contrast usually kasi ang ginagawa. But, uh, yun nga, uh, why would they request the CAT scan rather than the uh, barium enema? In barium enema, ang makikita lang natin is just this picture. Just the apple core sign. But the extent of the lesion walang added information. Where in fact, if you have your CAT scan, added information could be seen in your abdominal CAT scan. Yung involvement niya, yung mga lymph nodes involvement, or it can go as far as metastasis to the liver. That's why seldom do clinician would now request volume minima. Okay? But in teaching hospitals, they would do this for the sake of learning. Just to show to the students that this is the typical apple core sign seen in your boom. Okay? Who was not able to encounter in the readings the apple core sign of colon CA? Everybody read that? The apple core sign? Okay. Did you come encounter? The surgery or as a swatch? So pato. Okay, then Oh, this one. What's this? So the reason is this one. Because normally you don't see this. You try, as I said, you try to compare the right side and the left side. If you see this, solitary, uh, uh, lithiasis, this one you would consider appendicular stone in the appendix. Okay? Because your ureter is seen here at the side of your uh, spine, lateral side of your spine, so you should not. Uh, consider this as your ureteral stone. Okay? Because this is your right lower quadrant area. Okay? So, the pathology that you would highly consider here is 
a pathology that involves your appendix. <clears throat> okay. So, this is your football sign. So, if you see this, this is an emergency case. You have to inform the resident on duty once you encounter this in your x-ray films. This is your football sign in your pneumoperitoneum. As I've said, both pneumoperitoneum and pneumothorax are emergency cases. You have to report this at once. So please be able to uh, appreciate the radiographic pictures of your pneumoperitoneum and your pneumothorax. Because if you were able to appreciate this, you're going to save the lives of your patients. Okay? So this is a generalized uh, air within your abdomen. So it looks like a football. So this is what you call your football sign of your pneumoperitone. Okay? Again, as I said, you said in a loop kanina, what? Uh, you try to compare this one, the coffee bean sign. This is photognomonic to your sigmoid volvulus. This is the coffee bean shape. Okay? This one. So this is your sigmoid. The twist. Okay? In your picture, there. And then that is your reference for your coffee bean. Okay? I hope everybody have seen a coffee bean. Okay? If not, then you can go to Starbucks. Do you have a Starbucks here? What happened? Ano meron? Ano na? This one is the typical coffee bean sign. Okay? What's this? If this is your coffee bean sign, what's this? What's this? Baka naman sasabihin yung coffee grinder dog. <laughs> so you have your coffee bean. Okay? Prosthesis to, the patient had hip replacement. So this is your head of your femur na. Ito yung bakal. Ito yung prosthesis. So the patient underwent hip replacement. Okay? But... Please do appreciate the coffee bean sign. Okay? So, ilan na yung sign? May football? Oh. Huwag yung pagpipili na naman. Dok, football yan. O, ayan yung kono. It looks like a ball pagkatapos yan yung tahe. That's the coffee bean. Okay? This one is another picture of your coffee bean. This one is more typical. So, is this your small bowel or your large bowel? Is this your small bowel or your large bowel? Large, because it's okay, small, yun. sumabog na yun. Can you see the diameter? Almost one half of your film. There you are. Another picture of your coffee bean. This is sigmoid volvulus. 
this one what do you see bigla na wala yung gas baba natin yung mga kuto gasless abdomen oh, what, where's the pathology here So, the pathology is that one. There's a free air. Crescent shape. Pneumoperitoneum. Okay? Just below your right hemidiaphragm, there is presence of crescent shape. Pneumoperitoneum. Okay? So, what puro football sign yung hahanapin nyo? There you are. Your Pneumoretroperitoneum. Bakit sinabing retroperitoneum? Nasa retroperitoneum space and that structure is your right kidney because your kidney is located retroperitoneal okay so pagka nasa below the diaphragm just right there yung peritoneum diba pero hindi ko naman siguro ibibigay sa inyo yung pneumoperitoneum. Seldom you would see that. Okay? There you are. Bigla, abdomen tayo. Napunta sa chest x-ray. Why? Di ba we are into abdomen yung pathology? How come? Bigla may pumasok na chest x-ray. Di ba nasa exam nyo yan? What to request? Patient came at the ER with history of stab wound. Meron doon eh. Flat plate of the abdomen, upright. Now, you have to request for chest PA. Okay? Because chest PA is always upright. So, you would appreciate the pneumoperitoneum just below your hemidiaphragm. Okay? If you won't see this right below your right hemidiaphragm and your left hemidiaphragm, instead it's seen at the center of the diaphragm, you call that the cupola sign. Cupola sign. C-U-P-O-L-A. Cupola. Okay. So this is a case of a pneumoperitoneum. There you are. And aside from the pneumoperitoneum, as you can see, unang request chest PA Pagkatapos, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, you cannot establish your diagnosis with uh, bowel obstruction. Kaya nag-request pa siya ng upright na flat plate of the abdomen. So, meron siyang air fluid level. So, aside from the pneumoperitoneum, there is also bowel obstruction. Okay. There you are, other ways to establish your diagnosis of pneumoperitoneum if the patient could not tolerate the upright position trying to do the decubitus film. Because you would expect if, as I told you, yung 
in pure diffusion, the fluid would settle on the dependent portion of the affected lung, uh, lung, okay? Because water would go down. This time, air would be appreciated above. Because air will always go up. Never the air would settle at the bottom. Okay? So, this is a case of your pneumoperitoneum. Management? How would you manage pneumoperitoneum? Anybody? Management of pneumoperitoneum. Or oh, say for example, you have this. sa sabihin ni Del Aspiration Ultrasound Guided. Ha? Baka you would aspirate the air. Kaya nga sinabi ko sa inyo, if you see this, you have to inform the resident on duty. They would do immediate surgery here. Okay? Kasi you can never tell kung ano yung nag-rapture sa loob. Hindi siya elective pa. Ah. Baka sabihin mo, Dok, i-schedule natin to bukas ng hapon from duty para makikita ko pa natin tayo pa mga kapag-assess. No. Okay? Okay. So, that was the last thing of your pneumoperitoneum. This time, you would see your uh, the uh, bubble gas is seen at the middle. What would you consider here? Try to look at the periphery. There would be bulging plants and then ground glass appearance. So this is the typical sign of or no, typical picture of ascites. With water, expect the bowel, the bowels to flow. Kaya siya nandiyan sa gitna. Kasi the bowel is filled with air and then try to put the balloon on a pail of water. Diba? The balloon would stay afloat. So, this is a case of your ascites. Ground glass appearance and then uh, deleted bubble loops is seen at the center of your abdomen. Then the, and then there will be bulging of your flux. There you are, the bulging. And then the ground glass appearance. Okay? The one in the curtain, in frosted jealousy there, parang ganyan, ground glass appearance. So, this is your ascites. Okay? Management? Management of ascites. How would you manage ascites? Okay. Some would give diuretics. Pagka kung konti lang siya, dinadiuris lang muna nila. If it won't respond, and then saka sila magpapa-present disease. Okay? But normally, you have to drain that. Again, this one, typical sign of your ascites, the dilated bubble loops is seen at the center of the uh, abdomen. Again, ground glass in appearance. Another picture, bulging. Okay? 
This is your stone. Okay? So that is your ascites. This one is also an ascites. This is the typical uh, ground glass appearance. So, naka-float yung mga bowels. Okay, in two susception, there would be two signs in two susception. So, the, the, this is the target sign. Really, you could appreciate this even uh, the best radiologist in town could miss the target sign in intussusception. Okay? The more prominent sign would be the crescent sign. This one is just a, like a crescent moon. There are two specific signs wherein you would consider intussusception, but the more appreciable one radiographically would be the crescent sign for intussusception. There you have your target sign and then your crescent sign. Okay? Okay, so this one is your, this is more of your large bubble. Okay? So, there would be dilatation of your large bubble. So, generally, ang impression dito would be in use. Because the film is taken in supine position. Okay. A small bowel obstruction and megapholon in infant, this is your Hirschsprung disease. But Hirschsprung disease will be more appreciated with contrast study. So this is the picture of your Hirschsprung disease. It's a megapholon and then big lung may cut off. This is the normal size of your colon and then wala nang innervation kaya nagkaganyan. So radiographically, 